morning everyone long time no see I have been crazy busy but in the best way possible and now that I am headed off to rotations again soon I thought now would be the perfect time just to start vlogging again so you can kind of get a glimpse of my life as a D4. On today's agenda I am going to go to a cafe to do some interview prep which is Another exciting thing that I have going on in my life currently and more to come on that. Interviews always give me a good level of anxiety so the more prepared I am the more confident I feel. That will probably just be the majority of today. With that being said, let's go. Now I am going to do some interview practice with my family and also my friend. A little bit about how I prep for interviews. So first I have a question bank that just consists of a standard list of commonly asked interview questions like tell me about yourself, why this school, why do you think we should pick you, tell me about a time where XYZ. I have different bullet points to map out main things that I want to talk about in these answers. I also have my CV which I want to look over and get very familiar with because it's very common for interviewers to ask, I see that you did this, can you tell me more about it? Or can you tell me about a challenge that you encountered? Or can you tell me about what you learned from it? That's another part of my interview that I really want to prepare myself well for. Aside from writing down everything, the second part of interview prep is to actually practice saying it out loud. Most people don't really have a very long attention span, so you want to kind of get to the point while still telling a good story. Uh... lunch break or I guess I should say lunch break but this is my first meal of the day I have this homemade guacamole and then I have my chipotle bowl just veggies no meat because I ran out so I got this you do have this job's not finished, finished. palms are sweaty knees weak spaghetti <sighs> dude my, I'm already getting my palms are already yeah. getting sweaty yeah this is, you're gonna be sitting there waiting as they call you for an interview I don't know if you can tell this through the camera, but I get really nervous. I know that I'm well prepared, but I think it's just a matter of really being confident in myself and my answers. After all this interview prep, something that I've realized is it's not necessarily the content of what you're saying that really matters. It's how you say it and how you carry yourself. And I think that's really what interviewers are looking for when they meet you in person. Tomorrow, if I can just exude that energy that I am confident, even though I know like inwardly I will probably be freaking out, then hopefully the interviewers know why I belong here, why I deserve a spot. At least that's what I'm telling myself right now. I think another thing that I do is that my voice changes it's more of a subconscious thing like when I'm vlogging I feel like sometimes I have like this vlogger voice of how I want to present myself and also I'm talking to a camera so it's not very personable especially if there's like no response from this little electronic device that I have versus when I talk to my friends I'm very animated and I feel like oh my gosh I have so much to tell you blah 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 you know and then there's a lot of back and forth versus in professional settings this is something that my sister had mentioned to me earlier is that I guess I speak kind of like 
monotonous, robotic, and I think it's just because I'm trying to, I don't know, come off professional or something. But it also sounds like kind of boring, like I'm just like rehearsing some lines, it's very scripted. So that's something that I just really need to keep in mind for tomorrow is to just be natural, be myself, be confident, and I think all of these other external factors will eventually melt away. I think at this point I just have to know that I've done enough interview prep, I've done the best that I can up to this point, and I just need to chill out and relax. So I'm going to do my nails, I'm gonna do some last minute shopping like for some dainty accessories to wear because look good feel good and take it really easy tonight like watch a show do a face mask go to bed early journal meditate you know good old self-care routine time to do my nails i'm gonna keep it nice and short neutral colors so it's professional but maybe with a little teeny design the anxiety honestly comes in waves like sometimes I just feel like when I think about it too much, my stomach just gets super queasy and other times I just feel really chill about it. Right now I'm somewhere in between, but I'm going to do my nails so this will just be one extra little thing to make me feel good tomorrow. I'm going to watch this TED talk. It says six behaviors to increase your confidence, which is what I need right now. So... Here are the final results. Very natural and acceptable length. And then I decided to go with these little stars to remind myself that I am a star. All right, I need to go to bed. I am waking up bright and early tomorrow at 5 a.m. just so I can give myself enough time to get ready in the morning. So I'm gonna do a little meditation and get to bed, so. Good morning everyone. Nerves are creeping in as expected so you can always count on a good affirmation to start slowly tricking my brain as I get ready for the morning. I am already who I need to be. I am already who I need to be. I am powerful. I am powerful. This is the fit, a knit cream top from H&M, blue blazer also from H&M, the tan pants are also from H&M, I don't think this is how you do an OOTD, <laughs> purse from Nordstrom Rack, and we are breaking out the heels, heels from Aldo. All right, it is 6.45, interview starts at 7. No caffeine today, just running off of pure adrenaline. We did it. I am all done with my interview, and overall, I would say that I feel pretty good about it. Got to meet a lot of other applicants so that was really exciting because I feel like the dentistry world is very small but even more so the ortho world is even smaller it's always good to make good connections got myself a little post interview treat and I have about an hour left before I need to head off to the resident social that we're gonna have later tonight but yeah I'm just gonna hope for the best prepare well for the journey ahead, and then by this time tomorrow, I will actually be in Texas. I'm gonna go decompress, and I'll see you later. Yeah.